otobe nya ni onyama na efi ngupa abeti ebe nya honkan so ya na efi nkruma na enije bebo awura efi mu so ya na efi den na ejumadi ba ko pe eno ya ni KSM show oh. it is not often in a man's life that he gets to interview his daughter in law i'm going to do that show me some love man ah uh, you really know how to do that in law eh yeah. Me buy it, me buy it. Pan, I'm in the back of the room. Fans and boys, yummy. Okay, on a more serious tip, still meaning it. I have the pleasure to talk to my daughter-in-law. Put your hands together. Welcome, Nana Yire. Oh, Nana Yire, I want to ask you. Okay, give the answer. There we go. Okay, well, Hini is in the house. Uh, Hini Yiri is in the house. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, stick around. We'll be right back. It's going to get sweeter than guinea fowl. It's the KSM Show. Well, we're back. We're back. We're back. And, 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 uh, oh, Hini Yiri, it's always a pleasure to have you here. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. And it's an honor to be here oh, no. and to be interviewed by my father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I like that, I like that. <laughs> now, um, for those of you who don't know, yeah, she's married to my son, that's why. Show some love, man. <laughs> All right. So before we get going, uh, let me get some rumors out of the way. Right. Are you pregnant? Not yet. Not yet? Yes. You're I think the doctors haven't confirmed anything. But the press knows. I know, right? <laughs> Apparently, they even know where I'm supposed to have my baby. Oh, they do? <laughs> <laughs> so, they'll be camping out at the hospital? I know. And, <laughs> so, well. when you read it, did somebody call you and tell you, hey? Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, in fact, what, as usual, people started sending messages, congratulations. Oh, we are so happy. We thank God. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I've been married for over four months now. So, are we still talking about the same yeah. thing? Then I also say, oh, thank you very much. Yeah. And then the interesting thing, I went to braid my hair at um, um, Behind Trade Fair, okay. the famous Auntie Alice's place. Yeah. And then this lady comes, oh, Gifty, no, you shouldn't sit on the chair. They need to give you uh, a form to sit on. You know, it's, it's, it's not good. I didn't get it. So I said, get okay, it. they brought Bring me a phone. And then, no, your legs shouldn't be on the floor. It must be on something. They brought me something. So you are thinking, well, where? Well, maybe. Nana, 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 so no, maybe but I the protocol. I need women's health thing. Yeah. You know? So I said, okay. I put my, uh, my feet on it. <laughs> then after a while, she came back to say, no, you've been sitting for too long. You should get up. That's what gives the pregnant women. I said, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not pregnant. So really? But your pictures are all over the pictures. It shows in your dress. Before I went online, I to saw these pictures. You know, they've circled <laughs> around my stuff. <laughs> Ghana. No. <laughs> oh. uh, so what, you, you, you just laugh it off? Or I just, you just it Yeah, off. yeah. This is the first time I'm actually reacting to it, answering a question on it. Wow. You know, probably this is the first time. I was called, I was called my son. You know, the <laughs> son? <laughs> is there something you should be telling me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. What, yeah. what, so what else, what else is new in your... There's a lot of, you know, you're always in there. Yeah, I'm always in the news, isn't it? You know, and, you know, there the, are those... I, I, you know, I, I think I should have asked a lot of questions before getting married to a chief, you know. <laughs> <laughs> because apparently a chief's wife is not supposed to do this, is not supposed to... Oh, really? I said, well... I am not a normal chief's wife. I'm an abnormal chief's wife. Because, father you law, I was in the media already. I'm a feminist. I'm a gender activist and advocate. This is what I do. do. People didn't give me the money and the books and yeah. all that because I'm married to a chief. But because of what I do. Yeah. And they know that I can do it. So suddenly, I can't become quiet, sit behind, and right. not do anything. The chief knew what I was doing yeah. before he married me. I mean, I respect every chief's wife, mm -hmm. but we're all different. Mm -hmm. People are coming from different backgrounds. So yes, I'm married to the chief of the little republic of Idumasa. Mm. Others are married to chiefs of, you know, kingdoms and towns and all that. But we're all different. 
this is what I do. I'm just being. What are some of the things you're not supposed to be doing? I'm, and I'm all over the place and the things I talk about. Recently, I said, um, by the, on the standpoint, I said, young ladies must own their vagina. They must own it because it's theirs. So they should decide, unless it is rape, unless it is, um, you know, forced or, I mean, and, uh, yeah, it's rape, really, yeah, you yeah. know. I mean, you should decide who you want to break your virginity, who you want to have protected or unprotected sex with. Protected. You shouldn't just do it because my friends are doing it, so I'm also going to so do you it. So sh you should, they should own it. You should own it. It is yours. God gave it to you. It is what you use to give life. And in some cases, take life. Yeah. So, so you need to it. own it. And they say, Oh, honey, you're in Kasa, and you're maybe this is me, this is what I do. I'll, I'll just say it, you know. Interestingly, one of the things my um, father told me, Dr. Um, Abu Adiyah, Tamale, he said, Oh, honey, you're in Kasa, and you're maybe my father told me, Dr. Abu Adiyah, Tamale, my uncle said, and Fawu feminist in Yemen in Koho. I'm not going to change the start any revolution. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I just love what I do, and yeah. And, and that is what Nana fell in love with anyway. So. I'm sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that we've gotten the juicy gossip part of the way, let us go to the more relevant stuff. <laughs> you're doing some great work, huh? You're, you're reading projects? Yes, that? that would answer reading projects. It's, it's amazing what, can, what God can do once you put your mind to mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I believe that as a Christian, we, the Bible says women are helpers. So some years back, I thought about it. If you're a helper, you need something to be able to help. Auntie Nima is helping because she has knowledge in what she's doing or what you are doing so she can support. The camera guys, are the light, everybody, because they have some knowledge yeah. to help make this program the numero uno. uno. Thank you. That it is. <laughs> 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 yeah. So you must have something to be able yeah. to so I decided I need to equip myself as a woman to have something I can use to help. Hmm. And I need to, you don't always have to sit down for people to invite you to come and help. Mm -hmm. You need to identify where you can help. So when I was blessed with um, your son and he took me to the village, I started looking around. Where can I help? What can I do? And there hmm. it happened. Hmm. The young kids. Wow. Lovely kids. I just love them to bits. They, I mean, they come, they will sing, they want toffee and all that. Now we are fighting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he says, my children, I said, they are mine. I said, <laughs> okay, they are ours. <laughs> 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 but um, one Christmas, last Christmas, um, we were chatting, to, I was telling them stories. I think I ran out of stories. Mm. So I asked them to go and bring their storybooks. And they're just looking at me, you know, mommy, pa, ufina, ba, and then soon it's you know, Storybook, that's yeah. what I got. No, no, no. <laughs> I said, wow, now, listen, I need to do something about okay. this. So I decided to let, call my friends and fans to donate a book each as a birthday gift. I love my birthday. He knows it. I'm still fighting with him. He still owes me a birthday present, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but instead of giving me a gift, everybody should give me one book. Hmm. And by the time I realized I had almost 8,000 books. Really? Yes, 8,000 books. Wow. And people are still donating. So after the books, we need somewhere to put the books. I asked for um, help. And you should see, I'm sure you'll be showing the structure your son gave me to use for a library. Wow. Wow. Very, very, very uh, dilapidated. Yeah, practically. Rundown structure. Rundown <laughs> structure. Run structure. I said, no, we'll do this. So bits and pieces and all that. Now it's the most colorful library wow. in Ghana. I Put your hands together. <laughs> <laughs> A photo. You're seeing it on the screen right now, the before and after, the before and, and I'm after. sure you are impressed. My goodness. Yeah, and it's the most colorful because I tell people, oh, can I get paint? Oh, I've got red. Okay, give me. I've got blue. I Bring like it. <laughs> yellow. Bring it. So all paint be paint. All be, thank you. All paint be paint. So we decided to use it. And it was a, we had volunteers going with us to go and paint oh, and to wow. arrange the books. Wow. and. The library was open on the 26th of March, mm -hmm. which was during um, my husband's fifth anniversary, yes, yes. you know, celebration. Yes. You know, you were there. I was there. Yes, I was there. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> 
I was so excited yeah. when, when you came. And it was opened by Odeno Hokwa mm -hmm. um, the third, uh, the king of Akwemu Kingdom. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get bigger than that. Mm -hmm. And then he was supported by his wife, Lady uh, Majua Kutu mm -hmm. Kwafu Akutu. Uh, and then the chief of uh, Dodua, uh, Okukuru Buo Nana Kwesi Ajiman. Wow. Yeah, so wow. the two wow. of them opened wow. it. Just, it was good. And the children are just amazing. They just love the library. Mm. I, I, I left it in the care of the, because we don't live there most of the time. I left it in the care of the resident Presbyterian. So all the books are there now? The, the, all the books are there. We still, but some of them are still because I still need some shelves. Yeah. I need some shelves. I need more chairs. These days, the pastor will have to get chairs from the church for mm, the case. Mm. He said 5 a.m. They'll come and knock on his they door. Also from Bacho, he yeah, call library. <laughs> yeah, from 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah, call library. You know, so it's amazing. First, I could after my official introduction, we had a reading clinic, and it was nice. It went well. Wow. It went well. They were wow. really excited. We wow. learned three words. Humbling, dame, and crown. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> so how does it feel, man, to, to watch, you know, the kids, they've read the books, they are learning, they are learning words and... It's, it's very heartwarming, you know, it's very heartwarming, heartwarming and um, I'm very, very ambitious, very adventurous, very daring and I said to myself, by the close of this year, we will learn 50 new words. Wow, wow. My kids will learn 50 new words. We'll push it a bit further, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. for one Sunday we learn three words, I mean, it, it encourages me to go, you know, offering to have the clinics. And then next time we are going with you, we need more people to go because we need mm. them to have role models, mm. the mm. right ones. Mm. Mm. the right role models and that will challenge them and yeah. push them to aspire to be something great to help this nation of ours because we can't afford to lose the the, the next generation yeah. Yeah. the younger generation they have to be better than us does it feel like we are about to lose them we are losing them we are losing them we are losing them because some of the things we are seeing now, when you look at the rate that, I mean, the kind of people they are arresting for armed robbery. Yeah, yeah. 18, 19, 17, 16. What are we missing? Where has that spirit of determination, the struggle, is it because we are not telling them the true stories? Mm. Mm -hmm. They are seeing our glory without knowing our story. So they are in a hurry to get up there. They don't know that we had to go to school sometimes barefooted. We had to wear tattered clothes. Some of us uh, started wearing these um, asasa, you know, mm -hmm. the designer, mm -hmm. call it designer, way back in school. So patch here, patch there. Yeah. But we yeah. struggled through. Sometimes we had to go with our food. So what, what, what do you think the missing link is? What are they seeing now? They say children learn what they live or live what they learn? Something that they, they learn from the environment. environment yeah. What, yeah. Are, what are they seeing? Yet you what see, are we showing them? They are seeing opulence. They are seeing wealth, filthy wealth being thrown about without they knowing where it's coming from. Some of these people they saw just a year or two ago and then suddenly they, all, they have so much money, they don't understand it. They're seeing their parents struggling and uh, without understanding how come my mother or my father can't give me this and that person's mother or father can give him or her this. They don't understand it. Parents are not communicating with their children. They are not telling them the truth. Sometimes they think they are protecting their own children, but they are destroying them. They are destroying them. Parents, these they, these, they go borrow to give their children the best of everything. Mm, and it mm. gets to a point where they can't borrow anymore. And these kids don't simply understand mm, why mm, you can't do mm, it anymore. Mm, mm. I believe parents must tell it as it is. Akosia, I don't have it. This is what I can give you. Please try. Work hard. And another thing is we are turning them into grade-making machines. 
grade making machine. Yes, all we want is for them to make the grades, the grade, go yeah. to school, learn, make the grades, do well, without getting into their lives, understanding their challenges, understanding the things they're going through when they go to school. There was a, uh, an old, um, there, was a, there was a man I interviewed some time ago, and he said it was at the university level that he realized that his mother had never been to school. Hmm. Never. Wow. Because any time he came back from school, his mother would take his book. Hey, I go see why you are there. Mm -hmm. Now, when you teach an old student, oh ma, I see me try. Ah, me be there while bang. Mm -hmm. Then you ask now, when you eh, I see me think and can say teacher next time we be try what it. Then they were going. The mother wasn't seeing anything. <laughs> she didn't understand anything, but she was so much involved yeah. because he yeah. didn't know his yeah. father yeah. anyway. We don't have it. We've left our children to be raised by computers, by, you know, radio and TV and the WhatsApp and social media. I had it the last time I was on, I think I told you about it. A girl, nine-year-old girl, communicated with me on uh, Facebook, my inbox, says, telling me she's had her menses, but she's afraid to tell her mother. Mm. Why? Because her mother will say she's a bad girl. So I had to call the mother. And yeah, that was the first comment the mother made. How can she have her menses at this time? <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. So that actually pushed me to do a story on that, my first red day. And all the, kid, the young ladies, university yeah. girls who were on, they didn't have good experience. And still shy. And still live with a painful memory of their first menstrual experience. Hmm. There's you work to be done. To, there's a huge work to be done. Huge work to be done. But hey, you've started. And, yeah. and as small as it is, yeah. I see you are, you are, you are pushing it incrementally. Yeah. You Gradually. Know? And there are lots what? more people out there also doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. great job. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. Put it all together, man. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> and, and, and please, uh, let, let me make an appeal for mm -hmm. chairs, man. Yes. Or I should, you chairs know. and tables. Chairs and tables, Please. you know. <laughs> <laughs> chairs and tables, tables you know. Yeah, I'll start yeah. by donating a few chairs and tables. <laughs> <laughs> and then you join me, join me. Let's go support uh, and then yeah. take care of our kids. Yeah, but I would dance to a reading project. I would dance to a reading project. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. You've done very, very well. It's an inspiration yes. to all of us, You're you know, that, that we all should capitalize on where we are now yeah. and, and, and extend a hand right. to right. those that need yeah. a hand. But you've done so well. Thank you. And let me use this opportunity to tell my fancy people that, yes, they are the next target. Oh, the one they are, uh, yes. they are reading? They said Aquamu people have taken me away. <laughs> 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 but let me tell you to go to that. Aquamu for no, chao me walu. Me kwa mwa 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 fano ko, you know. So, <laughs> so the apathy should chill. Yeah, yeah. They are the next. Oh, yes. Yes, okay. we are coming back here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gift. Thank you. I want you to. Hey. <laughs> Nana, you know. Nana, you know. Oh, here. There. 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 Don't worry. He's used to it. He's used to it. Oh, here. You're a clue. That's how they call him. Oh, here. You're a clue. Oh, here. You're a clue. Cigarette, folks. We'll be right back. If you're having as much fun as I am, stay tuned. If you're not, you need deliverance. We'll be right back.